Hi everyone! Georgie here with a hopefully quick video on how to make your own plastic clear divider sheet or your tabs. Now this isn't the way everyone does it but this is how I did it and yeah the most cost effective way. I didn't really feel like shelling out for anything special to be able to uh, make my plan on my own so I did what I could with what I had. So I'll give you a quick demonstration, well hopefully a quick demonstration of how I do this and I'm hoping that I won't make too many mistakes along the way. So what you do, first you've got to find a plastic sheet like this. Now you can get these like off brochures or um, I also found like on the front of one of my sticker sheets I had one of these or anything you can really get. Um, real estate brochures have quite a lot of them. Um, I didn't really want to go out and buy them because they can be quite expensive and you have to buy quite a few. So if you've got them around the house, see if you can borrow some off someone or something. So start with a clear plastic sheet. So this one's just a bit smaller than A4. I'm not sure if you can really see because obviously it's see-through, but you can see where my hands are. There we go. Um, so this is just a little bit smaller than A4 size. And what the trick to this is, is just cutting well in what you want to do. So what I find is I get a page from my planner, one that I don't want to use or don't need or um, old bits and pieces from last year also work well. And what I do is I line it up with the edge like that and so the seam meets along here and along here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And the trick to this is is cutting along here and along here. Now if you have one of those fancy smancy um, cutters that go along feel free to use one of them. I do not have one of them so I have to do my do the best with scissors. Now doing this on camera will probably turn out wonky but let's give it a go. Now it, this is this point where you decide if you want it to just be a just a clear sheet or if you want it to have a tab. Now if you want it to have a tab I recommend getting oh, I recommend getting something to cut around or tracing something or sticking a little sticky note where you think that you want your tab to be so you can cut around it cut, uh, so you can cut around it um, but this one here for me I will just be doing a tab at the top I've just put a sticky note around where I want the tab to be um, I've got flag ones that are about the size that I would like my like my tabs to be which helps me estimate where I want them to be because I'm not cutting it with a with any precision it just helps me guide it so now I will cut around it and hopefully not do anything wrong so now we have a plastic sheet with a tab on it. I'm not sure if you can see yet. So now the trick is to punching the holes. So line it back up along the straight edge and grab your hole punch. Now if you have a single hole punch this may, may, may be a lot easier. I do not. I have one of these. So, excuse my knee, what you do is you shake all the bits and pieces around so you can see the hole and you slide it in and so you can see that it's just covered the hole so if I wiggle it from side to side see you can see it's just covered the hole and punch it through and just continue that until you've punched all the holes Also, you've got to be careful that you don't actually punch another hole with the other end of it. I have done that before. So you just got to make sure it's all lined up. Okay. Go. 
And there you have it. So it's got all the holes lined up on it. And it's just like that. Check that it fits into your planner. So I've got mine here. Just open it up. Check that it fits in. Which of course it does because you've used a template. And as you can see the tab's quite high. You can obviously change that if you want it to be smaller or rounded edges. But I'm not going to do that today. But the next thing to do is to decorate it if that's what you want. Um, the one that I've used has obviously got my sticky tape around the edge. That's just to soften the edges and a few stickers, but that's up to you. I use the same method for making pages like this one. So obviously that's just a decorative page that I have done it with um, to ensure that it fits properly and looks good. I also use these offcuts here. So this was the offcut off the A4. I also use that for um, for bookmarks. So you can get bookmarks. Like I have got my Kiki K bookmark, but this one here, you use the same method that I did before, but obviously making it smaller. Line it up, punch the holes, and cut it to whatever size you want. Size you want, and you've got your own your own bookmark and you can also put them if they're wide enough you can also put them sideways like that so if you want a tab that goes that way rather than that way that also works i hope that helped and showed you how you can easily make your own dividers or easily and cheaply make your own dividers and dashboards thanks for watching if there's anything else you'd like me to do a mini tutorial on uh please comment below